Controversy is already swirling around the new Michael Jackson CD. Is the pop icon singing on every track? His mom and his children say there's a sound alike on some of those tracks, but MJ's record label says it's all the real deal. Shock controversy due to surrounding this. Absolutely, Robin. And ironically, Breaking News is the title of this never heard before new song by Michael Jackson being unveiled today at noon. It was recorded in New Jersey in 2007 and just recently brought to completion. Sony brought in uh, two voice authenticators. And remember, they spent $250 million, a record for the entire Jackson catalog. But the Jackson family says some of those tracks are fake. Michael Jackson's career is booming, even in death. By far the best-selling artist in 2009, This Is It was the highest-grossing concert movie, more than $260 million. There's a Michael Jackson video game, even a Cirque du Soleil world tour dedicated to the king of pop. The Immortal World Tour by Cirque du Soleil. And now a whole new album due to be released December 14th featuring new songs written and recorded by the late singer. There's a long history of albums or singles coming out after an artist has died and um, you know quite often they do quite well and there's a lot of um, you know interest in them. But according to TMZ, Jackson's family says the tracks are fakes, sung by a Michael impersonator. Son Prince reportedly says he was there when the album was recorded and none matched the Sony tracks. And consider this unreleased track, A Place With No Name, unearthed by TMZ last year. There's talk this could be just one of many Michael Jackson songs featured on the new album. Sony's Epic Records guarantees the album's authenticity, telling ABC News, we have complete confidence in the results of our extensive research, as well as the accounts of those who were in the studio with Michael, that the vocals on the new album are his own. A source who is close to Jackson tells ABC News that two forensic audio companies have confirmed it's him. The source also says Jackson's kids didn't really hear all the tracks, but have been pressured by the Jackson family into taking sides. On Monday's Oprah, Michael's mother, Catherine, avoided the controversy, but she did have this to say about his prescription drug use. I was telling him I didn't want to hear one day that he had overdosed, mm -hmm. because it would break my heart, it would kill me too. Yeah. And, but he kept saying he wasn't. And also overnight, Brian Oxman, the Jackson family lawyer, told us in a statement, the songs which are being released on the new Michael Jackson album were unfinished and incomplete tracks that Michael said over and over many times he never wanted released. We should honor Michael Jackson's wishes. The new album contains music and additions which were not part of what Michael initially recorded. And if Michael had wanted this music released, he would have done so before his death. And clearly, Robin, even posthumously, success mm -hmm. and controversy surround Michael surround Jackson. Surround the king of pop. And he was such a perfectionist, you wonder if he would want this work to be released. All right, Gigi, thanks.